All right, so we're going to be using a draft shield to improve our open air ABS prints because a lot of times without an enclosure, you start to get warping, you get lifting away from the bed, and you get layer separation because of the temperature variance. Um, the the nozzle is about 250 degrees, the bed's about 70 degrees. In between, it's fairly warm, uh, but the further the nozzle gets away from the bed, the bigger that temperature variance in the middle is, and that can cause some cracks and separation. So Kira has a nice experimental feature called the draft shield. And what that does is it'll put a wall, a perimeter wall, all the way around your ABS object, uh, trapping that warm air in there and helping regulate the temperature. So it'll keep it from splitting. It does help keep it away, keep it from splitting away from the bed a little bit, but you will notice that I do also have a brim here just to keep the bottom of my print completely flat. It does lead to a little bit extra cleanup at the end, but it's worth it in order to have a flat and accurate part. So, uh, you can see my printing temperature is at 250, build plate's at 75, uh, and I also have the cooling completely turned off. With that fan blowing on there too, that can cause uneven cooling and it can cause uh, layer separation and splitting as well. So, we'll just go ahead and leave that off so we don't have any issues there. And I'm at 0.2 millimeter layer height looks like everything looks pretty good. Now to turn on the draft shield, it's under experimental settings and if you don't see it, you're going to want to click on this cog wheel here. And type in draft and it'll show up. You only have to select the top one. You can select the other ones if you'd like to change the settings. That's these other settings here, the draft shield XY distance, how far away it is from the model, and the uh, height limitation. You can set it to go only up to a certain layer or height instead of going all the way up the model. So uh, those are helpful, but I left them at default and I saved the file to my SD card. So let's jump over to the printer and I'll show you what it looks like with this printing off. All right, so I picked the calibration key because it's kind of a quick print here. You can see that it's done. This here is our, our draft shield. That's what keeps it from warping up and splitting away. And you can actually see down in there that it is still square all the way around. We'll get it off of here and get a little bit better look at it. And this is the bottom. I did print it with a brim because the brim also helps adhere the bottom layer. So that'll have to be stripped away. Um, but you can see that it's attached fully to the draft shield and it pretty much encloses it and keeps the heat in there to keep it from warping or cracking. So let's take it out and see how it came out all together and check it for any warps or cracks or issues like that. Alright, so here is our ABS calibration cube. Looks pretty good. Uh, I did this at 0.2 millimeters, so uh, the layer lines could be refined a little bit but not too shabby. Uh, there's our hot end marker. You can see a little bit of the seam there, it didn't go down on the corner. Uh, I'll have to double check my settings and make sure I have it set right to the sharpest seam. Um, and then the top there. Um, I'm gonna need to adjust the flow rate a little bit or possibly turn it up a little bit. Um, but all in all, it is square. You can see it sits flat. Uh, it's not warped at all and it's not cracked or separated. Um, I did scratch a little bit when I was removing the brim there, but not too bad for an ABS print with no enclosure. That draft shield helps quite a bit. And as always guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.